How's it going, everybody? Welcome into Xerox Blueprint ahead of the Week 8 matchup with the Philadelphia Eagles on the road. Kyle Yeomans, Nick Eatman, and Nick, whenever it comes to this Cowboys team, there are lots of problems to deal with, but there are a lot of things you got to sure up in order to get a win against an NFC East opponent. Yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, you could say that if this team was sitting here at 5-2. and two. I mean, I mean, that's the way that the division is. And that's the one thing that, you know, if you're a Cowboy fan that, that's got a lot of optimism, you can say that. That, you know, the Cowboys, these division games are always pretty close. And, and the Cowboys will have a, a, a chance here because the Philadelphia is not very good either. I mean, they, 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 they're they only, you know, ahead of the Cowboys because of a tie. So it's for the taking here. But to answer your question, they're going to have to keep the quarterback, whoever it is, got to keep him upright. If it's Danucci, if it's Andy Dalton, they have to be upright as much as possible. And they got to have some balance here. They got to figure out an offensive line if Zach Martin can come back to block these guys. Uh, you know, Fletcher Cox, is, it's going to be a tough battle, but they got to figure out ways to run the ball. And, of course, on the other side, this is a defense that needs a bit of a pick-me-up as well. They're going up against the banged-up offensive line. What do they have to do to be successful Sunday night? It's, it starts with pressure. You know, I mean, you got to get after Carson Wentz. He's, he's shown in the past. He'll throw it to you. You know, if it, now he'll make some big plays as well. But I think off the edge, I want to see now – you know, they, they traded Everson Griffin away. They want to give more opportunities for Dorrance Armstrong and Bradley and I, and, and of course, Randy Gregory. Let's see them off the edge. Uh, Tank, you know, it's time for him. I mean, the, the, the Cowboys, and he said it last week after the game, he, to Demarcus Lawrence, he said, you know what, this is, this is on me. I'm one of the leaders of this team and leaders of this defense. If we're playing like that, it's on me. So let's see if, if he steps it up as well. Now, you mentioned whether or not they're playing Ben DiNucci at quarterback or Andy Dalton at quarterback. Kellen Moore's going to have to get a bit creative with his offense mm -hmm. play calling, going up against a very good defensive front and also a solid secondary as well. What do you expect from Kellen Moore this week in terms of changing things up? I think you've got to really – Trick it up here. I mean, you, really? you have to. I, I think you got to have some fun. And I say trick it up. Hey, it's Halloween, right? I mean, ah, you gotta, I mean, you we go. got to have some um, tricks, some treats. We'll see about the treats, but I mean, <laughs> I, I think we'll we'll see uh, some some different stuff. Though you have to because you know if it's Danucci, where they're gonna pull? They're gonna pull back James Madison tape. I mean, they, 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 I think you have to try some different things. I think it's gonna be fun to see some of the things that they do. I don't know what the results will be, but I think you know. You, Trick it up. You have to. Got to change things up. And Benanucci, one of the more mobile quarterbacks yeah. the Cowboys have had in the past. Even more so mobile than maybe even Dak Prescott or Andy Dalton back there. Hey, gives yeah. you some options. He's Nick Eatman. I'm Kyle Yeomans. That's going to do it for Xerox Blueprint. Enjoy the game, everybody.